By the end of this video, you should be able to convert soft subtitles into hard subs or banding subtitles to your video. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, for us to do this, we need our video and our subtitles. And for this, the video and the subtitles need to be one. Simply put, we need to embed our subtitle into our video as a soft subtitle. And it's pretty easy to do this. And I'm going to use the first application for this. And this is called MKV Toolnix. Now, just for the purposes of this video, if I just double click on this video, with the recent app and it plays, you'll notice that if I right click subtitle, it doesn't have a subtitle track to it. I can click on add subtitle file and add this particular subtitle file to it. And if we play it, it on the you'll see the subtitle text appear right here. But what we want, we want our subtitle and video to be soft subbed. That is the video to be soft subbed. That is, we don't need to start right clicking subtitle and adding the subtitle here. We need the subtitle and the video to be one. So let's begin that. Uh, and as I mentioned, we are going to use MKV Toolnix. And all we need to do is just highlight both files drag and drop them into the input area and the new dialog box that comes up is for adding files via drag and drop or copy and paste. Now I'll just go with the default add as new source files to the current multiplex settings. Click OK and once I do that my video and my subtitle will be available for us to work with. Now you are able to see the tracks, chapters and tags and you'll see the codecs, the type, uh, the copy HMES, the language, the name etc. Now, for a subtitle, it is an SRT subtitle file. We need to determine the language. It's important, especially when you want to soft sub multiple videos or multiple subtitles to a video. Uh, so we'll need to select this language. And then I know this subtitle is in English. So I'll click on English. So that's OK. We're done there. Click OK. The default drag flag. Yes, the subtitle should be default and then the track enable flag, yes. Always have the soft subtitle enabled. We are done with that. We now have to just multiplex and uh, you can set your destination folder. It's going to the same folder with the files that we just dragged and dropped here. And for this video, I'll make sure you save your video as an MKV. If you save it as an MP4, the second software that you're going to use to convert the soft subs to the banding subs subtitle edit will not recognize the video as having subtitles. Now I'll leave it as .mkv and click on start multiplexing. It's already done. Super fast. We can close this out and when we go back to a folder we'll see a new file available for us here. It's an mkv file and you see the two files we had selected. We can actually shift delete to delete permanently and once you do that we have our one video file here that has the soft subtitles added. Let's just double click on it. It opens up. If I right click on it and I've actually paused it, right click, subtitle, you see that the subtitle track is active and the uh, track available is track one English. So if we play it with the recent update, the soft subtitle or the subtitle has been embedded to a video as a soft subtitle. Pretty awesome. Now, let's assume you wanted to convert the soft subtitle inside this video to a hard subtitle or a banding subtitle or an open caption or a permanently added subtitle. It's pretty easy, especially when the video is an MKV file. Now, let's open up subtitle edit and I'm using subtitle edit 3.6.7. Now, let's just drag and drop our video right inside here. Just drag and drop it the video with the soft subtitles and I'll let go. And what happens is that automatically subtitle edit recognizes that our MKV video file, you can see it right here .mkv, has subtitles embedded and it actually extracts based on the time codes available and sets everything as it should be. Let us click on the waveform right here so that we can actually see where the subtitles are. Looks really good. They are the subtitles and you can already see them right here. Everything is straightforward here because the subtitles are timed uh, and everything looks good. 
the only thing remaining is now to convert or burn in our soft subtitles or our subtitles to a video. It's pretty simple in subtitle edit and all we need to do is just click on video, generate video with band in sub and from here you can change a couple of things, the settings where we go for the font size, you can change this, you can change the font family, let's say we go with something like Arial, click on that and you may need to have an opaque box. You can also fix right to left languages via Unicode control characters. You can also align right, but we want everything to be where it is. We can also preview. And if I click on this, you'll see the end result. You'll see how the video with the subtitles will look like once the subtitles are banned in. Looks really good. And we can close this now. And my assumption is we are done with what we needed to do. Let's click on generate. And this is going to prompt us to save our subtitle we want it, want to save it as. Now I'll choose the same folder uh, with uh, the video and you'll see that the file name is going to be given an underscore burning extension here with uh, the size of the video and uh, I believe this is the encoding x264 and the saver's type is an mp4. You have other options like Matroska or MKV and WebM. I'll just go with mp4 and if I'm satisfied with this, and if you're satisfied with this as well, just click on save. Once you do that, it's going to start burning in our subtitle to the video with the settings that we have set. Looks really awesome. And depending on the length of your video, it may take a long or a short time and also the resources on your laptop or your computer. So it's almost done. There we go. And it is done. It is done with all this and we can click on open containing folder and once we open it by uh, by default it highlights the video with the subtitles banding and you can already see the underscore banning and the dimensions and the encoding so if we just double click on this video and i'll pause it a little bit so that we right click and see that the subtitle the subtrack is disabled so there is no like soft subtitles added to it. But if I continue playing it with the recent update on the YouTube interface, we can now appreciate the subtitles have been banned in to the video with the options we selected. That is how you can convert soft subtitles that you embed to a video using an application like MKV Toolnix and then permanently ban them in to the video using subtitle edit. A pretty simple process but can save you a ton of time. I hope this tutorial is of value to anybody that's interested in such uh, a workflow or maybe has MKV videos with subtitles and then like uh, to actually add the subtitles permanently to the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.